Okay, so I wanted to do a Super Nintendo thing. Um, Mr. Flipnote sent me bad Sega games, bad Super Nintendo games. I know I've played some of these, but there's a part of me that wanted to do this because I haven't done this segment in years. It's a very simple, very easy segment. Everyone likes watching bad games. I like playing bad games. Fuck it. So there's a number of Super Nintendo games on this list I've never seen, and some that are very appropriate given what I've played tonight. So, it's awful Super Nintendo games. I don't even know if this is a part five, part one, and do we start over? I don't know. Beavis and Butthead are not role models. They're not even human. They're cartoons. This is gonna be cool. <laughs> I rented this game. <laughs> And I apologize if you're watching this, and you've seen me play these games already, in the past. But for anyone who has not, and I'm sure there are many, many people who have not, this sucks. Oh, the game? But yeah, for those that, that would probably have not seen me play this, here is yeah. a terrible Beavis and Butthead game. I rented this, and it was bad enough that I did not want anything to do with it. We really tried. My cousin and I really, really tried. Yeah, free, free, free! <laughs> We're there, dude. We're there, dude. I just remember the game's hitboxes We're being... There, dude really bad. And that happens. I think I couldn't even get past like the second level or third level. But man, it does bring back some memories. It's just not good ones. <laughs> so compare this to the point and click. Oh, you can kick. All right. Wait, how the fuck did I do that? Can you stop that? Just always skateboarders. Beavis sucks. Good. Yeah, this one dude is just... So that's a feature. Pizza. So sorry. Hey, maybe you can have the AI generate that. But yeah, I've done a number of these awful game segments, and I missed them. And this is an easy one to do, and I just figured... Even if I've played some of these, there are going to be people who have not watched me play these games. So, like I said... It's worth it. But... I think, you know, I'm thinking I'm good on this. Um, essentially, it's a very difficult game. And, um, it's not particularly fun. It's it's not Mario. That's for goddamn sure. Resauced. Hey, that's a good name for the segment. But then there's something I've never even heard of before. So, fair. Beavis and Butthead, we know it's not a great game. It, someone might have liked it. I think the PC version that we saw earlier is actually way better because it actually has dialogue from Mike Judge, writing probably from Mike Judge, and it feels like the show. Then there's this game, Bill Lamebeer's Combat Basketball. Who, who is Bill? 
Lame beer. Bill. American basketball coach. So he's 65 now. So he was in his 30s when, when this was done. Formal, former player with the Pistons. Swamp music. F frog music. Oh no, it's top down. Oh no. I don't know what team I am. I don't know which character I'm controlling. The things I'm doing... Oh, 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 okay, I think I'm that blue arrow person. Oh, it's combat basketball because items appear and you can, like, tackle your opponents. It's a nice digitized Super Nintendo sound effect. Uh, for the record, I also have a Genesis and Game Boy segment, which I've probably played most of it already as well, but I'll try to double check and get rid of some of the repeats. Out. So what little I know about basketball definitely does not apply to helping me here, because the game controls like such horseshit, I don't know if my movements are doing anything most of the time. And you get stuck. Oh my god. It's so easy to just get stuck on nothing. Like, you'll be walking, you'll try to go diagonal. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe I need to... Hang on, maybe I should change something here. I need to configure up left. Up right. Down right. Down right. And down left. Maybe that'll... It helps. I fixed it, um, but it's still shit. Damn. Sorry, Mario, but your good games are in another system. This is a reskinned Amiga game called Future Basketball. Oh, so we'll put some dude named Bill Lamebeard on the cover and people will buy it. I'm good. Blues Brothers Software. Already we're off to an amazing, amazing start. Even better. Titus. The text is was stretched and warped. The colors were all like difficult to look through and there's Danny Aykroyd on the left about to sell some Crystal Head rock, vodka. Rock, rock, rock and roll. I don't know why they made this into a video game. I don't believe I've played this, but I could have. I don't understand. What, what What is this? Vinny, you chose two-player mode? Okay, well that explains it. <laughs> I thought maybe it was some innovative form of gameplay where you have to control one character and then the other. Select for option. Monoral. Stereo. Oh, I see. It's It defaults to two-player mode. How the fuck are you supposed to know that? This is a different level. What is he saying? Shit! I think he's saying jet. 
like the Paul McCartney song. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. But I think the game just amounts to walk through level, collect records, and go to exit. Which, if you think about it, the formula for Mario games is... Is that Giga Chad? Wow. The AI sequence has come in handy because now Giga Chad has shown up in this here video game. I played the N64 version of this. Yeah, that one was even, like, worse. This is better than that. That's not saying a lot. Um, yeah, the N64 version, I think, is, like, a platformer, if I'm not mistaken. I play so much trash, I, I don't really remember, but... I remember it being really bad graphics, really bad controls, and like breaking boxes. It was like a platformer, yeah, collectible game. I mean, this is like the kind of game you would see on Nick Arcade, and you'd have to compete for the highest points. It's just kind of fucking boring. Um, the camera moves pretty violently and the controls are very loosey-goosey so I, I and the levels are boring it's just as basic as they come for the Super Nintendo and I don't hate it though because it actually is listen I grew up playing a game called Zool and that was probably worse than this in many ways. Wait, what am I supposed to do? Am I just killing snails? That's it. Zool HD Remake is a lot better, because you can see where you're going. This is one of those games that will be left at Blockbuster when you got there too late on a Friday night. <laughs> well, that's about as much as I need to play of it to get the feel for it. And truthfully, it, if I had rented it, I would have been disappointed because it was so fucking boring. It still plays like a video game, and you can see what's happening. That's how low the bar is. Oh. I know where the bastard sleeps. I brought him there. To Carfax Abbey. So they made a game... From what I understand, uh, there's a better version of this somewhere. But yes, they made a a game for this particular movie. I do love this movie, by the way. And if I'm not mistaken, this is a Castlevania ripoff. Fred fucks, huh? Didn't AVGN cover this too? There is no good version of a game for this movie. Vampira. I know I've never played this, but I was at least aware of it through internet video makers. The Journey to Castle Dracula. The journey to give Keanu Reeves as few lines as possible, but still keep him in the movie. Oh, okay, so someone was like, hey, let's do Castlevania, except instead of a whip, we'll give the dude a butter knife. Why did the screen turn dark?
Well, visually, they got one thing right. That terrible, terrible gray, like, spray they put in Keanu Reeves' hair at the end of the movie to make it look like he had aged, which is just the fucking worst effect. Who are these people? So, wait, uh, that dude wants a sword? I guess never mind. This character would be great for vampire survivors. What would the butter knife evolution be? Steak knife? Yes, let me spawn back here and put three of the same enemy in my face. What a wretched attack this is. It's like Lagoon levels of bad. The game Lagoon is one of those games that I rented and convinced myself was good because I just wanted a new Zelda game and Lagoon seemed like the closest thing to it. But, um, I've talked about Lagoon way too many times on my streams. Frankly, it's a game that does not deserve that level of attention. Continue, yes. Uh, but... There's a couple cool things about it, at least. It's not all terrible. But it's a top-down game that was on the Super Nintendo real early. And, um, you level up your character, you find magic. So it was the, exactly the kind of shit that I liked. Problem is, your sword has maybe a three pixel range, and it's very slow. So not only is the game kind of confusing and like, you know, there's some stuff in it that doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but the combat sucks because you always have to be right near an enemy before you can damage them. And, yeah, you're, the frames per second are just horrendous. That really is the best way to kill that boss, is just, just crouch and hope that you win. The original Lagoon was just bump combat. Oh, yeah. That's not a whole lot of fun. But, uh, I did watch this movie for the first time last year. And then I watched it several more times because it was on Pluto TV, just randomly, like a lot. <laughs> and, um, I know the movie has some shitty acting. I know there's a couple things in it that are, like, weird, like inaccuracies to the book or whatever. But I think it's kind of almost a masterpiece in some ways. I... Yes, I watched it actually because Red Letter Media recommended it. And because I hadn't seen it. And, um, I did love the movie. I think it's close to a masterpiece. I don't think it gets there. I think it's really, really cool, though. And there's some, like, camera techniques. Like, the special effects are the best part, because all of it... ...is, like, different techniques used in the silent film days. And, um, some newer stuff, too, but it's just, like, really interesting filmmaking. And Gary Oldman is incredible. Vinny, it's okay to like a movie. I know, I like Blade Runner. That's another non-perfect movie by a long shot, but, you know. So, yeah, I'm still playing this game. It's... Just everything happens too quick. Like, your character is just too big. And it's not very much fun. Things just explode when you kill them. I don't know why bats are exploding when a butter knife makes contact with them, but sure. There's, um... Everything is out to get you, including just a couple of butterflies. And, uh... Yeah, I don't... I don't think... 
this is particularly good. So, is there a better version of this at all? You want dynamite? Uh, well, there you go. I've played this before. This game is fucking horseshit. Captain Novalin. This was an attempt to get kids to take their insulin. So this was like a famous game. I learned about this in like a magazine in the 90s. And um, enter the code your doctor said is best for you. If you don't know your code, use 000. Captain Novalin is a game that teaches you about diabetes. But remember, this game doesn't tell you how to manage your diabetes. The doctor will tell you about it. Any change of insulin should be made cautiously and only under medical supervision. So, to get kids to take their insulin... Aliens have landed on Mount... Way up there. They're disguised as sugary junk foods and have been ordered by Blubberman. I mean, it was in the folder and I just said, fuck it, why not? Classic, bad SNES games. Sounds good to me. God, what a hideous sprite that is. You need to check your blood sugar four times a day, but you can check it more often if you'd like. S suddenly really realistic human face. forget to take the insulin dose I prescribed. Usual. Hello, doctor. But <laughs> in your breakfast meal plan, you could have peanut butter, toast, half a banana, bowl of cereal, glass of milk. For a morning snack, you could have apple crackers. But, but never, never. Is that milk? Yeah, that's good. Milk is good. But never donut. Never donut. They made the donut like real ugly. Most useless superhero on the fucking planet, by the way, can't even attack. This was like an officially launched and released and sold video game in the 90s. Remember, this isn't just some shit post that someone made on itch on itch.io or anything like that. Like, no. Again, I appreciate the sentiment. Tiny food, but giant donuts. Uh oh. Diabetes. The problem is the game is so fucking bad that, like, I think if I had this as a kid, I would just ignore it. Um, I don't, I don't know. I got the question wrong. I, I don't, I don't have the diabetes. I, I, I'm sorry. I don't know the answers. For lunch, you could have carrots, grapes, tuna sandwich, glass of milk. For afternoon snack, try uh, pretzels and cheese. Thank you, doctor. But what about that, that delicious donut that keeps hopping around? It's very tempting. Is that a cookie? Oh, the evil chocolate chip cookie. But no, I, I get what they're trying to do here. It's just the game is fucking ass. What are you? What are you doing? What was that? I had... Point one second to react to that. Also, everything has weird, ugly arms and legs. It's just like grossly detailed for Cookie. Yes, Captain Novalin has died of diabetic shock. Ow. 
please stop. Yeah, it's a granola bar, I guess? <laughs> this looks like a job for Captain Novelin. What can you do, Captain Novelin? Just barely not die! But what do you do? Do you punch? No. Do you shoot? No! I... Pass out! It's like a classic bad game. So, again, I've known about that one for a long ass time before I ever played it on the emulator. I know someone made it so you could play as Captain Novelin in a Super Metroid randomizer. <laughs> Uh, anyway, now we get into some, like, movie-themed SNES games. De Dennis the Menace. Like, you can already tell. You just know when these old, like, licensed SNES games are gonna be... ...bad just from looking at them. Just too much going on, too quickly. Multi-layered levels of, like... Really unfocused level design, you know? It, it, like, ends up turning into... Just run around. It's like the Home Alone games on the NES. Same kind of thing. I especially love it when a platformer has a weapon that does not hit the enemies. Or does nothing to them. That's even better. So many of these licensed games, they, they made... <laughs> Again, the Home Alone games have the same thing. Where, like, household objects try to kill you. So we just went from household foods to household objects. Like a record player s spitting records. Oh no! Meanwhile in Blues Brothers, we got to use the records. Ugh. Oh, this is really fucking bad. It's like you don't know what you can jump to, you don't... You know, you don't really get a good feel for what you can do at all. Oh my god. Walter Matthau, Mr. Wilson, please. It's just dead. It's just like... Is this Mr. Wilson's house? Why does he have infinite cats and fish? Shouldn't I be able to jump up there? It really just feels like a first pass with minimal playtesting and they just said, yeah, good enough. It looks like a video game. He looks like Dennis the Menace. Hey, that Walter Matthau sprite isn't crusty enough. Why, why are there bouncing cups of coffee trying to kill me? Like, you just feel so weak when it, it games like this, where, like, everything damages you and just avoid the object platformer. It's like its own genre of platformer. Avoid the objects. What objects? Yes. Can I do anything to hurt them or kill them or, you know, like, stomp on them like Mario? Nope. No, really, your only option is avoid. Mm -hmm. 
football? Fucking rats, bats, cats. Are there any hats? I picked up a slingshot for like a second. What is butt ball? Is this some kind of meme I'm unaware of? Oh, I do have... Oh, where did that come from? Oh, it's... it still sucks. It actually does work, though. Huh. Okay, so no, you, you, you get a slingshot. Well, never mind, the game is good. Yes, I take back everything I said. Game is now good. me of a reskin of Monster Bash. It reminds me of... It reminds me of Dark Times. I don't really know if I'm Wait, no, 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 I'm, I'm good. Let me escape this hellhole, please. Can I leave? Okay, so coffee cups are immune to slingshots and water pistols. Got it. Fuck's sake. It takes four big coins to leave. Uh, I'm good. I can't do it anymore. You you get the idea. I don't really I don't I don't need I don't need to prove that I'm a real gamer by playing Dennis the Menace, right? Like people aren't gonna make fun of me if I just stop playing it, right? Double Dragon 5, The Shadow Falls. Now, this is one I've definitely not played. Wow. Wow. These are some scummy looking characters. <laughs> this is like we peaked at this game in regards to Oh, oh, I see what they're doing. Um yeah, in regards <laughs> to character design, these were AI drawn. That makes a lot of sense. Young Leno. <laughs> um it's all been downhill after this. Fusion plant reactor. So let's find out why this is considered a terrible game. I love this character. Is he wearing like super cool 90 sneakers? Fighting a Mortal Kombat lady?
not the worst fighting game I've ever played. You lowered your stats, that's why Bones sucks. Oh. Yeah, that background dude looks real cool. Match two, fight. Match two, fight. Yeah, my stats are terrible. I can do zero. I do almost no damage. Is this not a gun? I don't, I don't, wait, why would I have a gun and not be able to use it? Like, don't give a skeleton a video game gun and then not have it shoot like like bones or something. That's you can't do that. You you moved all you removed all your attack stats. I know I know. Vinny, it's a pogo stick. If you want a gun, choose T happy. Gonna cry now? Look at the baby gonna cry. Gonna piss and shit? Gonna come? Gonna shit a little bit? Puke? Gonna cry? Crawl on the floor like a baby. Can you do that? It'll be so beautiful if you... Well, now I have power. This sprite of my dude is, is like the dude from Small Soldiers that Tommy Lee Jones plays. Just terrible. Yeah, I mean, it's not good. It just feels like not good and it just kind of feels cheap but it again i've played way worse fighting games it's <laughs> i think the crusty character designs are fucking hilarious though i'm trying to do combos that i remember from mortal kombat and street fighter and stuff but oh can you fucking move His arm is stuck in a Pringles tube. This game is based on the poorly made Double Dragon cartoon. It's just not... I, I know I suck at it, but it's just not very fun. It, it's just... And the AI is like... All over you like a pig on shit. You mean a fly on shit. Um, don't get up, you might hurt yourself. I, I do love their, like, damaged sprites. A pig in shit. Fly on shit or pig in shit, same thing. Match one, fight. Th this dude is amazing. Son of Thanos. Do you do anything? Do, do you do anything? Oh, oh, you use a stock sound effect for roar. Got it. I'm 
Trying to do more combos, but no nothing is working other than roar. This game has fatalities. I will never see them. That is a guarantee. Vinny, do the roar. Um, we are running out of time, but I'm going to do two more games. Faceball 2000. If I'm not mistaken, this is a first-person shooter. Because there's a Game Boy Faceball that looked like ass, but was technologically impressive for its time. I don't think I've played this one. But you know what? I very well may have. It's just, it's been a long career. Let's put it that way. A long career of shitty games. Sometimes I like to take you back to the past. Yeah, it's just... I mean, listen, it's mode 7. And the Super Nintendo was not really cut out for this. I don't think this uses the FX chip. I don't think the FX chip existed at this point. Vinny, you pick training. It's fine. Vinny, this isn't mode 7. Oh yeah, I guess there aren't any mode 7s here. What about that music? Sounds like it was generated by that Zalgo shit. Not Zalgo, Algo rhythm, Al Algo music. This is uh, this has got to be some of the worst music I've heard on the Super Nintendo. I guess the novelty might have been fun for a rental, just to see a 3D game in like 1992, but even then. can't imagine people having a good time here. Um, I think there's a capture the flag thing. At least I thought there was. This game gets super difficult. Just get the programmer to make music, it'll save money. <laughs> you can program some music, can't you? Just, just do it like you're programming, like the game's, uh, shoot system. When you shoot, the frame rates get fucked. Well, sometimes the programmer is also a musician. There is a, yeah, I mentioned the Game Boy version of this. Now, I guess I don't really have much else to show you on that, but there will be a part two to this. I have more games. If anyone knows of Super Nintendo games that are absolute, like, trash that I've never played, Please let me know, because I've played a bunch of these. Like, I've played this already. This is Home Alone 2, Lost in New York. That is supposed to be... Is... Is that supposed to be... Tim Curry? There they are, Pesci and Marv. Whoa, 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 did he just say simp? But yeah, I compared the uh, Dennis the Menace game to this because that's the the nearest comparison. They're both fucking terrible, and it's both household objects attacking you. I've never gotten past, like, the first ten minutes of this game, and I don't intend to. I love useless guns in video games. I feel bad for Mac, who... like... got to do these movies. And was like, oh, you're gonna get a video game out of this too, that's right, you're gonna be in your own video game. 
and then like they gave him a free copy of it and he was like oh no at least that's my guess home improvement is pretty bad yeah home improvements like this there's like again like just fast shitty platformers where everything is trying to kill you very quickly and you don't have much time to react. It could be its own genre. Okay. Yeah, here at the Plaza Hotel, the guests just don't mind just being complete assholes. No problem. Press the button like 50 times. Is that real? You have to mash the elevator button. It's amazing how people know about this. Again, through people like myself. trying to. I'm trying to press it. I pressed it a couple times. I don't know what button it is to press it. Like, do you have to be in the exact right spot? We know because of AVGN. I do not remember. Like, I've seen most AVGNs. I just... I don't remember the details of the shitty games so much. I just remember, like, Buffalo Diarrhea, you know? So yeah, you have to press that button a lot of times. Mac was in the- oh yeah, that's right, Mac was on the AVGN show. I think this might be the furthest I've ever gotten in this game. Michael Jackson. Damn the cat, the man in the mirror. Vinny, you say that every time. Sure, why not? I'm nothing if not predictable. This is a rerun episode. This is a Vinny doesn't remember games he's played or watched other pl people play episode slash rerun. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, game sucks. You die very easily. If I rented this or owned this, I would have been miserable. But, uh, thank you for the collection. I think I might need to curate a little bit. Because Lester the Unlikely is included, and I've played that so many times. Yeah, Lester the Unlikely is fucking terrible. But anyway, I have to get going. I am tired. Thank you for watching tonight, everybody. I appreciate it. It was fun. I enjoy doing these Sunday streams. It's like I get to do my own show. So I, I definitely enjoy that. And, um, you know, like I said, it's not going to be every Sunday, but lately I've been enjoying them because there's been so much good stuff. So I'll do them when I can, and I hope that you will enjoy. I, I also would like to let you know that I'm going to try to play more of that stupid Diddy of Carmiana game this week. Because LEGO Star Wars is done, Elden Ring is done, like all the major things I'm playing, they are done. So my goal is um, I'm going to try to finish that as soon as I can-ish. Like this week, next week, whenever. So, yes, uh, take care, good, uh, good night, goodbye, good day, stay safe out there, and um, I appreciate you watching, and, and I hope you will have uh, other good streamers to watch, like my mods. Thank you, mods, by the way. I appreciate the help tonight, and always. Thank you, everyone that put together a game segment. I'm always open to game segments, and um, 
Someone said, I'll always remember Mick Mars. We'll always have Mick Mars, who is the guitarist for Motley Crue. Yeah, actually. Yep. All right. Well, <laughs> there's that. Okay. Good night, everybody. And see you soon. And Vampire Survivors this week. And I'll talk more about Top Gun and Obi-Wan and stuff. And we will, we will collect the garlic. Bye. Oh, and thanks for the subs.